Hi guys. Welcome to my studio, Marco van Dom here for this tutorial. It is a fractal tutorial in English. I will try to to have this tutorial every Saturday, more or less at this time. And also you can find the, tu the tutorials uh, into the playlist of my YouTube channel, Fractal Tutorials English version. Uh, there are Italian and English version. First of all, I please ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. If it's possible, put a like if you want to be informed uh, uh, to any mm, videos and tutorial I, I will do. Of course, uh, you can do any questions here in the chat. Uh, I can see the question and I will answer uh, to you. Um, but uh, uh, if you cannot uh, see the live stream in time, uh, in real time, you can also put the question below the video. So, this tutorial regards the possibility uh, to import and export uh, any presets uh, from every fractal unit. One of the most be important benefits of fractal is the possibility to use the same sound in every unit. You can uh, export uh, any presets from FM3 to FM9 and XFX3. You can do the same to, from FM9 to, F, uh, to XFX3. You can do also the vice versa. Mm, if the preset uh, fulfill the capability of the, uh, the lower unit, uh, it works without any problem. Otherwise, you have to, to, to get some trick, to, you have to do some trick and, to, and some adaption uh, to fit the preset uh, to the new unit. This is a big advantage from my side because uh, you can get the same sound, especially uh, the, the amp sound, the, the, the core of the sound, and you can, of course, adapt uh, uh, the, the, the effects, uh, the relay, reverb, and so on. So at the end, you, in, in my case, for example, I develop my preset on XFX3 and I have not any problem to download, downgrade the preset to FM9 and, XFX, and FM3 and to have the same sound, basically have the same sound. And this is ev every time is possible. Of course, when you uh, downgrade the preset, you have to arrange uh, the preset to fit the lower unit. But uh, I think uh, it works uh, in a very good way. I will show you uh, now. Hi, Marcin. Thank you so much uh, to be here. So let's start with the preset. For, first of all, um, let's start from the editor. I show you now. This is FM9 editor and I also have the FM3 editor. Let's start from the FM9 to, to import uh, a preset uh, from, F, uh, from Axe FX3. I selected uh, an empty slot. I will work with the All Stars, MF All Stars presets. It's really appreciated from, um, uh, from my friends. Thank you so much. Uh, you purchase this preset. You can find this preset on my um, store. The link is below and I also can show the link uh, directly here. This, this is the, the QR code. If you uh, scan the QR code, you can uh, go directly to my store and you have the possibility to select uh, MF All Stars for any unit. Many people uh, love this preset and they ask me why you didn't uh, develop this preset for FM3. Because uh, as you can see now, the preset has two amp and two cabinet. So it's not possible to fit this preset uh, on F FM3. But uh, my intention is to show you how it's possible to, to make a trick to use uh, and to get the, the most benefit of uh, 
of uh, uh, the preset and combine uh, the blocks uh, to get uh, the final best preset I will show you later on okay so let's come back to the editor this is the empty block I I hide the okay but I can move that over first of all don't use fractal bot to import and export any preset fractal bot it is a really powerful utility to make uh, the backup of uh, your device uh, you can uh, install the new firmware of course you can save import and export any preset but uh, to me is not the best solution especially because uh, if you have uh, a different unit if you wanted to install an XFX preset to FM3 or FM9 fractal bot uh, give you an alarm and communicate that the device is not compatible with the preset okay so please forget forget fractal bot to handle any presets okay this is my first suggestion especially because you have a really powerful features really powerful utility in your editor on the presets you can import export and export preset plus cap bundle cap bundle is a really powerful powerful uh, functionality that can let you to import and export the preset with uh, custom impulse response the people who buy the preset on my store 90 percent buy preset with custom inputs response and any of my preset use the cap bundle the extension is the the cap band i will show you for example if i go to import input presets and i select uh, a preset of the rb official from this is my last version of my my um, fa my favorite preset I show you again the, the extension of the file import is a mf every dot fast bundle is not syx is fast bundle and fast bundle means uh, the preset contains uh, the impulse response i select this this is not possible to install fast bundle preset with the fractal bot this is the first reason that I suggest you to don't use fractal bot, of course. Okay, so when you um, select uh, the fast bundle preset, the editor asks you if you want to auto pick uh, the empty space, uh, the empty slot to uh, to upload, or use the current uh, um, the current uh, um, slots. Uh, but of of course, you overwrite the existing preset, or you can select presets uh, one by one for example i select uh, the, sl the slot uh, 393 okay i select uh, the slots uh, the empty slot or existing slot for the the impulse response in this case uh, i use the same slot uh, for the same impulse responses so i can confirm uh, i use the same uh, okay until the pick button becomes green so you type it import okay you have, you have to wait because the the device is updating the presets okay so this is a preset uh, uh, made by AxeFX3 and you can uh, notice that there are some strange things uh, it's a complex preset of course uh, you can see the CPU is in overload so you, you have to tweak a bit uh, the preset to fit uh, the preset into FM9 I also tell you that I'm using the FM9 Stardust version not the turbo version so 
uh, you have to consider that with the turbo version, it is the most common uh, unit in the world, uh, you have more possibility. But okay, the, 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 the concept is uh, absolutely the same. So first of all, you can see here some shunt in a very strange uh, position. Yes, because I know in this position I have, uh, for example, the second multi-delay and here I have the second plex delay. In FM9, there are only one plex delay and one multi-delay. So I have to delete or you can use a, another block, but in this case I have to delete and, and fit the preset. Uh, in the proper way so another tip i can give you is to delete the looper block because looper block uh, needs uh, three or four uh, cpu power percentage so please uh, sh put a shunt on the looper okay the cpu is still on 100 percent i can delete the multi-delay you have, of course, uh, you have to find in a, let's say, a way to fit the preset. You cannot get the same powerful or, or of uh, AxeFX3. This is absolutely <laughs> understable. You, I think you are agreed with, with me. And when I delete the multi-delay, you can see the CPU come back to the, uh, below the 80% and it's really usable. So I can save the preset as it is. That's it. Very easy. And the sound is identical to the axe fx3 of course you have not uh, the second plex delay of course but uh, you preserve the main the core of the preset it is the amp the cavity and the most important uh, uh, effects okay so i try now to install the the, Axe, the the MF All-Star preset, it is a really nice preset and well appreciate for my uh, followers. So I go to the import, I select uh, the All-Stars. In this case, I have not, uh, it's not a fast bundle preset, it is a uh, SYX preset because there is not uh, um custom impulse responses so i can in any case the the procedure is absolutely the same well now the preset is, preset is installed but as you can see here the cpu is in overload because uh, there are too much things uh, into the uh, into the preset so i have to decide what i want to keep uh, what i want uh, to delete uh, Okay, it, it's up to me, of course. It is a, is a compromise. So, first of all, I try to put a shunt to the looper. Okay, doesn't work. I try to delay the, the multi-delay. I use the multi-delay with a 1210 chorus. Okay, doesn't work. I can delay the flanger. Flanger depends. Sorry for the pronunciation. Also, the rotary don't. Uh, I put uh, usually when I create a preset with X, with ActiveX3, I have so much power that I, <laughs> I I put any block even I don't use it. Okay, this is really important. Mm, then uh, there is still okay. Uh, I can delete the chorus uh, or, or or the pitch. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the phaser. I'm not interested in the phaser. Let's check. Uh, okay, with the phaser, the CPU is uh, quite good. And I try to delete the tremolo. It's still, because of course, uh, the CPU percentage depends strongly which blocks you delete, of course. I know, for example, the plex delay is a really, uh, is a con big con eye consuming uh, for the presets. Uh, Okay, I can uh, okay I can delete the pitch for this moment because the pitch is a crystal echoes uh, is not so so important for this preset and now I generate the the preset below the eighty percent it is absolutely usable so let's go to here the preset okay 
Oh, let me check because I now I have with the FM3. Let me switch to FM9. Okay. Okay, it works uh, very nice. I can switch the the scenes, uh, different scenes. This is plexi crunch. This is the. GTM 45, this is the GCM 800. Okay. Plexi 100. The double verb, similar phase. Twin reverbs. And the 59 bass guy. Okay. To me, it's good, it's nice. So, and this is how I, you can import the F, XFX3 presets into the FM9. Now, I show you how it's possible to import the FX presets on into the FM3. It is, uh, let's say, a, a different challenge, of course. I have to select uh, an import preset. Uh, I always go to the import and I select the MF All Stars SYX preset. What's happened? Okay, now there is a bit of say, confusion. There is a mess, but uh, what is important now is to uh, you have uh, most of the block into the preset. You don't lose. Uh, Maybe only the reverb and the output, but you can add uh, and you can adapt uh, the preset to the FM3. First of all, here you can see the shunt. Why? Because you have not the second amp, you have not the second cabinet. So the, the FM3 pla uh, plays, uh, places a, a, a shunt. So I have to delay, delete. Okay. I have to shift uh, the cam and the cabinet. Uh, I there is the volume. This volume block uh, it is uh, only to create a boost of uh, 1.7 d uh, dB. This is for the lead. It's not necessary in uh, our case because uh, you can use the uh, the uh, scene scenes level. So instead of the volume block, you can put the output, okay? Output one, but as you can see, the CPU is still in the limited, in the limit, sorry. You can arrange the delay in the right position. You can arrange the plex delay. I don't need the, the flanger. So I can, yeah, of course you, you have to decide which, the, which blocks are most important to you, okay? To me, for example, are much more important the plex delay. Even, even the plex delay has a big consumption of the CPU. I prefer to delete the flang, flanger, for example, the rotary one, okay? The multi-delay, don't need. The, the return and send uh, is are used to to wrap the 
the row to the second row. I don't need uh, on the FM3. I have to squeeze the preset uh, as much as possible. I can make the chorus. Okay. The pitch I don't need. I don't need the sand. Okay. The reverb is disappeared, unfortunately, but it's easy to insert. Input. Uh, sorry, reverb. I can put uh, my favorite one. It is the medium plate up to two seconds. Okay, with uh, less mix. I connect uh, the blocks in parallel. Of course, I uh, I need to know what is the the layout of the the preset because it, these blocks are used in the parallel. Of course, I have to use it in the same way. Okay. Now it seems okay, but the CPU is still on the limit. Uh, to preserve some CPU, I try to reduce the echo density on the reverb, and as you can see. I stay again below the 80% of CPU. So I can save it and I can check. Okay. Okay, so, oh, I still uh, into the uh, FM9. I have to switch on the F FM3. I have to exchange the cable okay now I am ready and now I have the same sound of FM9 and Axe FX3 at least for the plexi crunch sound yeah it's nice <laughs> Okay, I, I changed the scene on the Synthum 3, it is the GTM 45. Perfect. Switch off the delay. I check the scene number 4. This GCM is 800. And the scene number 1 is the Plex leader. Okay, and this is uh, at least uh, the distorted version of uh, of this preset of the preset I charge in the in the uh, FM9. Now, how can I create uh, the, um, the, the clean version? Okay, first of all, let's come back to the FM3 and save this layout to the new preset. Okay, one step behind, I call this preset as a MF All Stars Dist Distortion. Okay, perfect. So save uh, this preset to the, uh, an empty slot, create a new one. I will call uh, Clean. Okay. Well, now I need to use the same layout, of course, because it makes no sense to, to make it the same layout for the clean, but I have, I have to change, of course, the, 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 the amp cabinet. How can I do this? I use this method. Let's come back to the FM9, go to the block, the amp block, and save this block as uh, in the library. So I save this block as a clean, clean one, for example. 
You have two possibilities. You can save uh, the single channel or the entire block. In this case, I select uh, the entire block. Save. As you can see, the name of this block, it is clean one. I do the same with the cabinet block. So save. I call it clean cab one, for example. Again, I want to save the entire block. Okay. What is important? How can I transfer the block into the FM tree? It's pretty easy. Go to the library, show the folder. And this is the folder where the editor save your block. As you can see, uh, you, are, you are in the documents folder. You have it in the F FM9 edit blocks. And you have a, a, a folder for any block type. Um, amplifier, cabinet, and chorus. And as you can see, you can see here the clean one. Yeah, you can see the clean one cabinet and amp. Okay. So you can copy the block in the library, go to the FM3 editor, again in the same blocks area, and if you find the cabinet folder, paste this block in the cabinet. Some, if, you need, if you never create uh, the cabinet folder, you have to copy entire block. You can also do this, for example, go to the folder, copy the folder, the entire folder, go to the FM3 editor, go to the blocks, and then paste uh, the entire folder. So you can find all cabinet blocks uh, you saved in uh, in the FM9 editor or XFX, X, XFX3 editor, you, you will find in the new, uh, in the FM9, FM, FM3 editor. This is the pretty easy way to exchange the blocks uh, between different editor. It's uh, really easy to do. I do the same with the, with the amplifier. So I go to the FM9 edit blocks uh, amplifier. I have some amplifier here. I can copy, copy, go to the edit blocks, paste. I have to overwrite. And as I can see, I can see the clean block. So come back to the FM3 editor, go to the amp, click on the library, but you cannot see the clean one because before you have to refresh the library. Of course, because the editor until now doesn't know there is a new block in the library. So you have to refresh. And when you click on it, you can find the clean one block here. Wow. And you can do the same with the cabinet block now. You can see now, because I already done the, 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 the refresh of the library, I can select the cabinet, and now I have the, the clean version. Of course, I have to switch uh, the, the channels, because uh, now the new preset has the channel stored before. So you have to, of course, call the same, uh, uh, the same channel to uh, to replace the clean uh, the clean sound. So, for example, let's start. Let's switch the, the drive. Let's start from the amp cabinet. This double silver face is channel A, and you combine this channel A with the channel A of the um, the cabinet. Save it. Switch off the delay because we don't need now. Oops, so the cabinet is switched off. And 
and of course I rename this scene as silver face okay so I do the same on the scene number two I select uh, the second channel double verb normal quindi so I double double verb normal or twin as you prefer the cabinet is still the channel A store okay the third channel is the vibrato okay so I type vibrato also the same uh, A channel perfect and the last one is the let me check the 59 bus guide bright and I selected the channel B of the this cabinet because I know the channel B is made for the 59 bus bus guy well now I have two different presets uh, the clean version of the All Stars and also the distorted version. Okay, it these presets uh, re replicate uh, what I did uh, into the FM9 with two amp blocks. But now I will teach you how it's possible with FM3 to create uh, a new preset. I will call Best where I select my favorite distorted amp with the, my favorite clean amp and I create, uh, let's say, a, a, a single best preset for live usage or recording or what you want. Okay, so the, the first two presets are, let's say, a, a library where you can pick the, your favorite sound and how you how can you combine this sound in a single preset? I will show you. So let's start, for example, from the from uh, the MF uh, distortion for the distorted amp. Okay. So I create a new preset. So, so save this preset to the new empty number here. Yes. Don't don't touch uh, the existing preset. <laughs> Otherwise, you lose uh, any your previous modification. So and recall this preset like mf all star best okay and let's create the the planning of uh, of your uh, of your preset it, this is absolutely up to you for example in the scene number two i like to have uh, uh, the crunch I call crunch sound save and uh, for example I select the I want to use I create I wanted to create a preset based on the JCM 800 so I save it and let's try <laughs> Very nice. Now I want the same scenes for the lead, okay, on the scene number one. I use this method to create my, uh, my preset. I save this scene, I copy this scene to the scene number one, for example. Go to the scene number one, call lead, okay. On the lead I want uh, the drive on, also the delay and I want to increase the volume so I go to the output go to the scene level and uh, set up to 2.6 uh, as you want to point it is up to you of course save it and 
I want, on the scene number three, I would like to have the clean. So I can also use the GTM 45. But if I want to use the, the Fender Twin clean, I will show you how you can do it. So let's come save the preset, of course. Let's come back to the clean. Select, for example, the... Sorry, the double verb normal. Okay. In this case, I wanted to, to save only this channel because I want to pick this amplifier and bring a copy into my, um, in my best preset. So I use the library, save. Now I save only the current channel, like double, double, sorry, double verb, save, and I do the same with the cabinet block. So I select the double verb cabinet, save, double cab. Again, only the current channel, not all the channels. Save it. Now let's come back to the best version of the preset. Select the scene where you want to have the clean channel. Okay. And uh, you, you have to decide which amp, which channel you have to overwrite. I assume that I will use a uh, a, uh, for my this best amp, all GCM 800, so I can overwrite, for example, the Plexi 100. On the Plexi, so on the C channel, I go to the library and select the double verb. Not this one and not this one. So remember that uh, when you have only one square, you have the single channel. When you have four squares, uh, you have uh, all the blocks. So don't forget this, otherwise you overwrite uh, uh, entire block. So select a double verb. Yeah. And now I have on the C channel the, the double verb I copied before from the clean amp. Do the same with the cabinet. Instead, of use the D cabinet, use another cabinet. Uh, for example, this one. I don't know which one. For example, this one. And select the double C. Okay, I type. Uh, I make a typo errors, but doesn't matter. And now I have a Yes, fantastic. And now I call this job clean or the name I want, of course. And now I combine the GCM 800 with the clean amp. Delay, compressor, save it. Okay, I can generate a, a new preset for a new scene. Uh, with the plex delay, for example, I copy this scene to another scene, for example, for example, this seven. Okay, I call clean plus, three plus. 
because in this scene I wanted to also switch on the plex delay to create a very <laughs> So switch on the tremolo. Yeah, wonderful. I can also do the same uh, with the uh, the distorted amp. For example, I wanted to. I wanted to create a new scene uh, with the different uh, effects, uh, so I copy the scene uh, to the new one, for example, the six. Okay, I rename uh, with crunch uh, plus plus plus. Uh, okay, and I type, for example, the. <laughs> Okay, so in a very, I need, uh, let's say, 44 minutes, but okay, <laughs> to explain. So you can imagine when you, when you become uh, confident with this method, you can create uh, and combine your presets uh, as, you, as you want. And this is a really nice and powerful method uh, to, to have in a single preset uh, all sounds you need. In my live gig, uh, for example, I use only s a single preset when I have all the sounds I need. The crunch, uh, lead, uh, clean, uh, clean, uh, wet, uh, clean, dry, and so on, and so on. Okay? That's all. Now it is the question time. If you have any question, please type the question in the chat. I have seen uh, some question uh, from... From you, Marcin, uh, I mark I only discovered uh, your channel recently. I just wanted to say that you are fantastic, the guitar. Thank you so much. <laughs> Always a pleasure to watch and listen your playing. Thank you so much, Marcin. I'm really honored of your comment. Thank you so much. Ciao, Yari. Ciao, Eliana. Marco Bacco. Ciao, Claudio Pioli. Marco, if I simply import the entire profile with enough CPU, uh, do I need uh, to do all this work with blocks a library? Absolutely not, Claudio. You have to do this uh, only when I, I do this example. If you have a preset uh, made with FM3, you can export uh, and import on in, into FM9. Of course, uh, I, I, I can show you. I can show. It's it's much. Uh, for example, I wanted to to get this uh, preset and they wanted to es export to, for FM3. So I export the preset on, uh, let's say, FM3, okay, because now I go to the FM9, I select an empty slot, this one, for example, go to the import, I have to select the the location where I FM3 MF All Star Best, and now you can see how the FM3 presets uh, will be uh, will be imported, and uh, because the FM9 is a bigger matrix, uh, it fit. Uh, perfectly without any problem and it is the same for AxeFX3. Of course you can see the CPU powerful it is different 66 versus 80. So you understand that FM9 is much more powerful than FM3. So you can do this anytime but 
if you have this kind of preset f made uh, with FM9 or XFX3 and you export, you can import into the FM3 without any problem. Because the important thing is uh, that the preset fulfill the limit of the lower device. Okay? I can develop for sometimes uh, presets on AxeFX3 and because I already know what can what FM3 can do, I usually they can develop on AxeFX3 and uh, I'm 100% sure that the, that preset will work on the FM3. The only important thing is don't use fractal bot because fractal bot recognize the unit is different and put an alert message that the the, the CPU the, the unit is different from the the, the the origin of the preset. This is only a fractal book. If you use the import and export presets from the editor, you have you you don't have any kind of problem. Uh, okay. Jason McBride, thank you for the info, Michael. Very helpful. You are welcome, Jason. Thank you so much. Okay, I don't see any other questions. If you have uh, any other questions, please uh, uh, put the question below the video. The video will remain here, even on my channel and even on the G66 channel. So you can decide, but it's not a problem. I will answer in any channel. I I like if you subscribe to my channel and also the G66 one and put a like. You help me a lot. So thank you very much, guys. See you. Have a nice weekend. And see you next Saturday. I will do the same tutorial. And please type your comment, write your comment about what do you think about this tutorial. Is it useful? Is it not useful? Makes no sense. Stop it, please. <laughs> or continue. So thank you so much. Hi guys, ciao ragazzi, see you soon. Thank you so much. I go to the outro, yeah.